What happened there? There's a mouse on my screen. Whoa. Hello there mateys, welcome back to another video, and I'm finally back on the CreatorCraft server, after a little bit of time I was gone, I was on holiday, you know the gist, I was down in the southern, the southern part of, of the Ireland, you know, you know the good bits, and um, well, I did get back a while ago, and in the, in the time before I started recording and when I got back, I started building this, it's a little extension to my house, you see this is the second uh, oh, hobbit hole bit area, this place, and yeah I just added on, this was supposed to be a guest room, but I guess it, I, I guessed, I guess it just became what it became, um, first off, yes, there's a strider called Barry Benson, I love this guy, I don't know why I called him Barry Benson, and it took us a while to actually get him out of the nether, and I almost died in the lava lake three times, I fell in like twice, um, and then you're probably also wondering about this guy, this is Giraffe, Fire Porter's Llama, and yes, he is indeed riding through the floor, don't question it, and you're probably also wondering, why is this here, why is this there a random minecart, I will show you, I have my secret little chest room, right here. I love it. And as you can see, I can access all my chests from back here. It's very cool. And then I come through here. There's a bit of wiring for the lights, behind the scenes stuff. You don't need to see that. And then the way you exit is simply just the minecart. I absolutely love it. And unfortunately, I died a few times. And the last time I died, I lost everything. So that includes my leecher. So yeah, I had to restock, buy a few things with the spare diamonds I had. And that's about it. Good news is... You see, Fire Porters, no, not Fire Porters, who's, was it, um, BTD Woo, um, it's his little old house down there. Now, as he lives at Stream Geek, now no longer in the Copper Kingdom, he said, well, Stream Geek said, I could have this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna convert it to a little entrance for the Hobbit Hole. Also, update on the map, I hate when it's raining, update on the map situation. So, yeah, over here, ooh, white trees, um, it's... Getting closer to being done, I don't think it's very near though, and yeah, a lot of what I've been doing lately has been through Java, I've been, you know, getting used to it, and that's also why I haven't recorded a video in so long, it just feels so good. I've just been on Java, building, you know, getting stuff done, and it just, it feels so good to get a new video out. It's been, I think, over like, four weeks now? It's been about a week since I got home from my holiday. And I finished, and I was on holiday for like two weeks, and I think I finished recording my last video a week before that. I finally got to upload it after I was back, so I think it's been about four weeks since I last uploaded. Well, recorded, basically, not uploaded. And it just feels so good. We have been up to a few shenanigans, but mainly I just want to get this done, because this, this map, I'm going to create a little business for it. It's going to... It's gonna give me so many diamonds, and you know, God knows I need them. One of the things I love about this is this is the part that Tix was doing. He was doing uh, this half, and I was doing this half, and you can just see the amount of holes in in the wall. It's 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 hilarious. It's just a really funny comparison. Oh, what happened there? There's a mouse on my screen. Whoa. Oh, that is why. Why do I have a mouse? I'm using a controller right now. Ooh, that's trippy, though. Wait, can I actually do stuff? What happens if I open my inventory? Oh. Oh. Oh, this do be cool, though. Oh, I can... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that's gonna take some getting used to. Okay, that's definitely weird. But for now, I have a few stacks of wool on me. I'm just gonna use these up, place them down in my in the map. I'm nowhere near done, sadly. Um, but you know, I'll hopefully get some done. 
Well, I'm already out of wool, so uh, what I'm gonna try to do is I know map making, just the whole process of building it, is so boring. It's even boring to me. I know you guys probably don't like it as content. So what I'm gonna try doing, I'm gonna limit uh, how much of the map building process I actually show. So it's gonna get very boring, so I'll just try keep as little time of it on screen and I'll do other things. So is there a villager that trades for wool? I know, I think there's one that trades for string, but that won't be as, oh, was effective. Uh, piglin micro trading. Toss gold here. Uh, um, I don't see a piglin here. I think there's a rogue piglin on the loose. Well, that's dangerous. Anyway, uh, can you get... Oh, yes, you can. You can get string from here. I'll actually go up to... There's another massive piglin trading hall up here on the nether roof. It's all the way over here. Right up there. Piglin farm up there. I don't think it just does piglins. It might do other things. I'm not entirely sure. But here we are. I'm gonna need some gold, though. Let's just check in here. Ooh, yes. A little bit of string. Won't be very much so. How much does it cost to create one block? It costs four. Okay, that's not the worst ratio ever. Um, is there no string thing for this? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, but crying obsidian. I've never actually gotten a chance to use this, and I think I w I would like to use it in the near future. I I think it would be very nice to use. So I might do that sometime soon. That's all filled with um, rotten flesh. Hmm. I need gold. Wait, do these guys do gold carrots? Do they like those? Oh, they do. They do. Do you have anything? don't think he did. I hope he didn't just waste a golden carrot. Do they like gold nuggets? Do they? I think they do. Cause that's disappeared. Anyway, I think I'll come back to this soon. Uh, I, I will take some crying obsidian though. You know, it couldn't hurt to take any. Uh, and, cause you know might want some in the future so yeah i think that's it i might check at the trading hall to see if there is a villager who trades for wool but i'm pretty sure there isn't after checking literally every single villager there is no no villager that does wool and there is no villager that does string either they buy string for emeralds but that's it and that is sad that was probably going to be an expensive process anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Giving this as advice to any other creator crafters watching, make a wool shop because you're going to get a lot of business, especially from me. And uh, I'd say probably do it about a diamond or two diamonds per stack. Actually, that's a lot. Maybe two, one diamond for two stacks. Doesn't really matter. But someone make it anyway because you'll definitely get a lot of business. Moving on, what do you guys think of the roof I made here? I... I absolutely love it. I mean, look at this. I think it's beautiful. I'm loving it. But the amount of campfires it took, it was just so annoying. Ooh, okay. Fire Porter's here. He's over, up above me. <laughs> He's coming down. I have a surprise for him. It's the the other side disc. Okay, hide it, hide it, hide it. Hello. Uh, so I'm just gonna, like, try to sneak this on. <laughs> he knows. He knows. He likes it. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty sweet totem there, buddy. Wait for the beat drop. Love the beat drop. Come on, here we go, here we go. <laughs> so, I just realized something. You can actually use snow and white wool on for the map because they actually come up as the same, the same color because I have some snow over there and it's the same color and... I'm actually very happy about that because snow is a lot easier to get than wool and 
I have some of it on me, but there's also some more up up there. And I can just, yeah, this will be done a lot faster. I know I, what I said, I'm going to uh, try not show a lot of this on camera. But I'm just very excited because I can now get uh, snow and wool and I can continue building a lot faster. So I think now what I'll do is I'll just try get a good bit of snow and, you know, get this get this up to speed and, uh, yeah, because we've been behind by a few days now, I think. So we'll start off with the snow and hopefully maybe get a bit of wool too, but I think snow is going to be a lot easier to get now. Okay, so I've finished putting all the snow down here and I'm just going to see how much the map has visually changed. So here we go. Oh, wow. I actually did a lot more than I thought I did. Still not the best amount, but it's getting there. Getting there. It's getting a lot better. I'm going to go continue getting some more snow, I think. And yeah, I'm going to do that, and we'll get some more snow.